What's up guys? We're going to be doing a quick unboxing here of the Admiral 12 inch dual bevel sliding metal miter pff, metal my goodness miter saw. Um, so this is uh, of course Harbor Freight. Um, so this is just going to be a real quick unboxing because uh, you know I, I just bought it tonight and it's getting put to use tomorrow. So um, obviously by the end of this video, we're also going to have some usage clips put into it. So you can see that this is, you know, I literally, I just took this out of the truck and we're unboxing it now. I'm not going to go too crazy with the unboxing because I don't have a whole lot of space. We're, you know, working here in the shop tonight with a whole lot of room. Not really, but so yeah, this goes to mess because you know we just moved. Uh, well, I say just moved two weeks ago, but it's been eventful. So we got the. It is a 12-inch saw, so blade is included. Uh, retail on this, I think, was just 199. Um, so it's yeah, you know, not that huge for price point. We're gonna be putting it to work. Uh, actually, as soon as tomorrow. So we'll be able to put it through the paces, see what we think of it. Uh, has your uh, board lock included in there. Um, looks like it comes with its own little adjustable wrench sort of thing. Looks like we have the sliding arms, some miscellaneous hardware included. So who knows what that is. Oh, that's your... It comes with the dust bag and your delightful owner's manual. I'm terrible with holding the camera and doing stuff, guys. I'm sorry about that, but by the time you make it to the end of this video, that's what you guys are going to be really interested in anyway. So, all right, here's the beauty. So... Admiral 12 inch, it is, uh, you know, as previously stated, it is a sliding miter saw. Um, my preference is a sliding saw over just a standard, you know, non sliding chop saw. I think the versatility of it is, uh, it is too big to be able to pass up. And you know, these things are so cheap anymore that you can get into. You know, 200 bucks for a sliding chop saw, sliding miter saw, is incredible. So, it looks like we even have uh, switches for a built-in light, and I do believe for laser. I did not know that this was equipped with a laser. So, here, let me, let me sit you guys down for just a second. Alright, so, that was a real quick second for um, you guys, that is. I quickly moved inside so that we can finish wrapping up this unboxing. So, um, just a quick little tip for when you get it. I shouldn't say tip, but uh, just to help you guys along. If you get one of these and you're confused on how to go about getting the blade on. So, it's real simple. This guard comes, you know, as so. Like, uh, yeah, as you would expect. It does not come equipped with the blade already installed. So, you open up the guard like that. And then once it's open the whole way, that screw there becomes available. Um, before you open it, that screw is available. Right there. And then, so you'll loosen that one, just, you know, a quarter turn or so, just to make it loose. And then you'll come up here, flip the guard the whole way open. You'll loosen this screw up a good two or three turns. Um, and then this will be able to slide away, as you can see exposing your nut here it comes with the blade tool all right so this is a left-handed bolt okay so that means righty does not tighten it turning it to the right or clockwise will actually loosen it okay and then turning it counterclockwise will tighten it all right so we got the blade installed in there all right so here just give me one second and we'll tighten this guy back up real quick so see so you'll just take that press it back down sorry about this kind of a little bit awkward for you guys um, i'm hoping to be able to get us a 
higher quality camera. But see, tighten that up. Tighten that up. I'll finish snugging them up completely afterwards. I'm sure some of you are going to be like cringing the fact that I only tighten them down a little bit. So I already have the saw plugged up, but we'll go through that here in just a second. So decent saw for 200 bucks. Um, my overall initial impressions is it looks nice, but don't let the looks fool you. Obviously for a $200 saw versus a 500 a $600, $700 uh, sliding miter saw, you know, you get what you're paid for. Uh, for instance, you know, this is all just uh, all metal. Uh, what am I saying? Metal. It's all plastic, not metal like you get on the other ones. So, you know, your, your, your grip up here is plastic. Here's plastic. It has a little bit of a rubbery texture on this. But, you know, this has a lot of plastic. That's where they're getting it down in price for sure. You know, um, but uh, look, look at the overall width of this. That is not bad, man. Guys talk about their truck stands. Look at this stance. Um, you can loosen this up right here. These are adjustable. All right. Um, you have, uh, you, you know, if you have a piece of trim that you need to make sure it stays put or, you know, what, whatever it is, you need stuff to stay put. Here is adjustable that pulls straight out. It goes in a hole back here. You also have a hole available up front on either side and in the back over there. This comes with a lot of adjustments. So there's a set screw back here. You can loosen up. You can slide these in and out as per needed or completely remove them if you would like. Um, you can take this, tighten it down so you're not going anywhere. I'll loosen that up. It has a lock right here so you can lock it into all of your uh, standard usages you know you're going to be probably using your 45s a lot your zero degree a lot you know and then it has a couple click points in between locks into 50 locks into 22 and a half i think 30 something yeah 31.6 it locks into all right but if you need something just in between you don't want that moving then that's where you can take this tighten it down It'll be just fine. It needs to be tightened down a lot more. But so, man, they got this thing ran way, way out. You can see in there, maybe. I don't know if you guys can see. That rod goes up to a, a piece of metal on the inside that allows it to hold tight. You guys get the point. So, pretty adjustable. Um, you know, you can adjust it. As far as your angle cut that way, but you can also adjust your bevel cut here in the back. Um, but let me let me let me show you just a couple of the really cool features that I enjoy about this. Right, so I didn't I didn't even realize that I was getting these. I just went into Harbor Freight, saw this one on display for sale, and you know decided what the heck I'll give it a try. So I was curious. But uh, oh, one of the other things you can do, uh, you have your lock right here. So you can lock that in the down position. Huge help there. You're also able to, uh, where is it, right here. You can tighten this up to make sure that it no longer slides. All right, so now you're good for transport. All right, that's pretty much in its transport position. I'll go ahead and loosen that back up for now. Okay. This is just a simple pull, turn 90 degrees, now it's unlocked. But you, you guys ready for this? You already saw that mm, those switches I had pointed out. We have a laser guide, just in case you need to know where you're going to cut your hand off at. You know, make sure that your fingertips stay just out of reach. No, just kidding. Always make sure your hands are clear. But, there we go. So, you got the laser guide. In addition to that, you also have a light check that out the the brightness on that is actually pretty darn impressive you know just in case i don't know you're wanting to cut in the dark house i guess you are absolutely covered but you know sometimes when you're working inside outside not so much of an issue but when you're working inside you put your pencil lines down and you get the saw down close to it I'll, oftentimes i've had the issue that maybe you don't have that good of a pencil you didn't make that good of a line maybe the wood is dark whatever it might be you have a tough time being able to see the pencil line that you put down so that's a 
I think that's definitely a, a, a handy feature. We're gonna see how much we like it. But uh, there's there's pretty much our unboxing. You know, it's a cheaper unit. You can tell just in the craftsmanship of the knobs. They look cheap. They feel cheap. All of these. You know, even down here, they only barely textured these set screws. You know, being able to, you get that cranked on there a little bit and they might be a little bit t tough to be able to break loose but there it is admiral 12 inch this is a 12 inch not a 10 inch this is a 12 inch full 12 inch uh, sliding miter saw overall you know i think the features of the features of it are pretty impressive uh it seems like pretty much a full feature saw has everything you should be able to, you know, need to be able to do whatever it is that you need to get done. Uh, definitely a full feature saw, but definitely a cheaper saw. You know, one of the other things that it, uh, I might have set them aside already. Came with extra brushes for the motor, and uh, which which seems like an upside. That sounds like a really good thing. The concerning thing is, is that if they're setting extra brushes along, you know, how fast are we expecting this to wear out? I don't know. We're going to see. It goes, uh, uh, I'm making this video. It's late at night already, but uh, definitely past my bedtime. But, you know, I'm staying up late to make sure that this gets done for you guys because this literally is getting thrown onto the job site tomorrow. So here it is, Admiral Miter Saw. All right, guys. So that was it for the Admiral video. Admiral uh, Chop Saw Sliding Miter Saw from Harbor Freight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Just keep looking out for the upcoming video of us actually being able to use that on the job site. We just lost one of our lights. But, so uh, hopefully, uh, you know, you enjoyed this video. You'll be going to hopefully enjoy the upcoming video. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel um, so that we can keep doing more stuff like this. And also, make sure to comment below on what your thoughts are. You know, what can we kind of improve in the videos? Or what you just think about, you know, stuff from Harbor Freight in general, the saw in general. What's your experiences? If any of you have ever used it before or used something similar from Harbor Freight. So make sure to do all those things down below. And hit that notification bell, wherever it is. I don't know where on the page. I was told I pointed to like the dislike button last time, so I guess I have to be careful. But we'll see you in the next one.